Hi there, welcome to my tour of the Morella Explorer cruise ship. Now in this video I'm going to give you a full tour of the Morella Explorer cruise ship and this is our fourth time that we've cruised with the Morella and we really enjoy it. We've also done cruises on the Discovery and the Explorer 2 and I'll link the videos for those down below in the description. But this is all about the Morella Explorer. So come along, join me on this full tour and I'm gonna tell you why I really enjoy my cruising. Here on deck 12, this is one of our favorite bars. This is Bar Indigo. We've been here several times and we've had some very posh cocktails that I'll show you now. Here behind me is the dance floor here in Bar Indigo and last night we were here till one o'clock in the morning dancing away to the silent disco. On the side of Bar Indigo is a casino and last night we were talking to some fellow guests who said that they'd won £70 here on the blackjack tables. Now I can't guarantee that you will win that every time because you know the old adage that the banker always wins but if you're into that kind of thing then it's worth having a dabble and also there are some electronic gaming machines. Another activity that's available is the mini golf. Now this is completely free of charge. If you fancy keeping up your putting practice then this is the place to come. Now as well as the mini golf you'll also find there's a sports court surrounded by a net and here you can play table tennis, football or basketball. So around the outside of deck 12, marked in blue, is the running track. So if you're keen on running or just walking, then 11 laps of that track is equivalent to one mile. Now if you've overindulged on your cruise, and let's face it, who doesn't because that's what a cruise is for, then the place to visit is the gym to work off a few of those calories. So let's go and have a look what's on offer. So I'm stood here in the Ocean Spa and I've just had a guided tour from one of the therapists. So now I'm gonna show you around, so come along with me. So we'll start off in the beauty bar. Here you can get your hair done, your makeup and your nails. Then also there's a massage suite. So there's a range of beds down this corridor here, lots of massage rooms. Moving into the thermal area, there's a foot soak. Then we've got a heated seat just here. And then for a bit more privacy, there's a heated bed. And we've also got a heated room as well. Then we go to the saunas. So there's a herbal sauna and a salt steam room. Then a special relaxation area full of mood lighting to really calm you. This is a main sauna, very hot in here. The heat hit you as you open the door, but it's a very nice area. Then this is the cobble massage area just here. Finally, we've got this room here for a relaxation. Now, if you do fancy treating yourself while you're on board, you can get prices from the spa and do watch out for offers as well because there are reductions throughout the week. Moving forward on deck 11 is the pool deck. Now, this is a place where some worshippers will visit or if you fancy a dip in the pools here behind me, there are two big pools and then also some whirlpools as well. But this is an area where there's lots of activities throughout the day. There are quizzes, there are live bands, and then in the evenings, this big screen here behind me turns into a cinema. Around the outside of the pool deck, there are plenty of places to eat and drink. And behind me is a snack shack. So this is really for things like hot dogs and burgers and chips. If you just fancy a quick bite and then get back to your sunbathing. You'll also find a selection of sandwiches, wraps and salads. If you've been on a Morella cruise before, then you'll be familiar with these colorful beach huts because they're a feature of Morella cruise ships. 
but they just make the whole place seem very holiday-like and really colourful. This is close at the moment, but behind me is the pool deck bar, so you can get all your drinks while you're sunbathing here. But the good thing as well is there are waiters walking about, so you don't even have to get up from your sunbed. You can just place your order and they'll bring the drinks to you. Now behind me here, there are some deck chairs and also Scoop's ice cream. Now the ice cream is chargeable, but a little tip, if you time it right and go into the marketplace at lunchtime, you can get ice cream from there. A little tip. One of the places you're bound to visit during the week is the buffet here, and it's called the marketplace. So let's have a look what's on offer for breakfast. So as we go into the marketplace, then you sanitize your hands. It's a good thing to do when you're on board ship because it just keeps everything nice and sanitary to make sure there's no disease spreading. So over on the right hand side now, we've got a drink station. So there's uh, juice and there's coffee and tea. And then over here, we really like this station just here because you can have omelets made to order. So here is a very friendly gentleman making omelets to order. So you choose the ingredients you want in your omelette and then when they're ready you get a buzzer and you get called to the station. Then we go round over on the left hand side just here are some fruit, uh, lots of selection there and then on the right hand side we've got a variety of cereals and then yogurts and then this is the place that most people will head for. This is the cook breakfast so we've got scrambled eggs, bacon, sausages, beans, tomatoes, black pudding, boiled eggs, hash browns, fried bread, fried eggs, and then a selection of toast as well. But it doesn't end there because we've also got breads just here, and then a selection of cold meats and cheeses here. And it's all mirrored around on the other side as well. So there's lots to choose from. We've even got some pastries, croissants, um, pan au chocolat here as well. So there's lots of choice for your breakfast. So as you can see, there's lots of choice in the marketplace. You definitely won't go hungry and there's something for everyone. And then the menu will change again for lunchtime and again for the evening meal. And quite often what they do is a themed evening as well. So they've got lots of different foods to try and sample and you won't be bored at all. At the back of the ship is a Mediterranean bar. It's a great place to come for a drink because of the glass roof here above us. Makes it very light and airy and it's really comfortable as well. Also on the side of the Mediterranean bar, we've got the Mediterranean Italian just here. And this is one of the best restaurants that we've eaten at during the week because you can choose your own pasta or pizza. You get a little tick list and so you can choose all the ingredients and have it made to order. And on the opposite side of the Mediterranean bar is the Mediterranean tapas eatery. Now you do have to book for this because it gets really popular, but this is another great place to eat. We really like this area here at the back of deck 11. It's a Mediterranean terrace bar. And as you can see now, the sun is pouring over it. And last night, as we sailed out of Lanzarote, we sat and had a drink here as the sun set and it was glorious. Now, if you're somebody that gets lost quite easily, finding your way around the ship is made really easy. To start with, there's lots of signs like this with maps on them, telling you where you are on the ship. Now, if you're a Star Trek fan, I've chosen this particular sign on purpose. If you understand that reference, let me know down below in the comments. And also another thing that we've used a lot this week is the color of the staircase carpets. Now, this forward staircase is colored blue, the mid ships, staircase is colored red and the rear aft staircase is colored green and another thing that's really useful is these interactive touch screens that are all over the ship now if they're not awake you just touch them to bring them to life but straight away you'll see a map of where you are but they also include loads of other useful information so as well as the map you can bring up what's called cruise news and this tells you everything that's happening on the ship um, during the day there's also menus that you can access um, what's going on in port there's lots of really important information that you can find on here and what's even better is if you've got a mobile phone then you can connect to the ship's Wi-Fi for free and all of that information is duplicated here on the navigate.tui app and you can find all the information on these screens on your app. 
Now our cabin was 9085 and we had an inside cabin because our theory is we only use the cabin for sleeping in so we don't need a window but the cabin is still comfortable there's lots of drawer space and wardrobe space you can fit a suitcase in the wardrobe easily you are asked to watch the muster video on entering the cabin so you know the safety procedures but then the bathroom is great as well the shower is so powerful there's a washing line there above the shower for drying clothes and towels but there's a glass shower screen as well and not a curtain that's really good and there is an antiquated looking hairdryer on the wall but don't worry there is one in one of the drawers and then in the second or third day we found the safe behind the mirror and another tip that we came across for an inside cabin is to leave the telly on on the bridge cam so you know whether it's light or dark outside our cabin was kept spick and span by a very efficient team of cabin stewards and they left us a variety of towel animals as well when we got back to our cabin. At the back of deck nine is the M Club and this is the place where young children are catered for up to about 11 years old. Here they've got their own dedicated play pool and then behind me is an area where activities take place all conducted by members of staff on board. If you did fancy a little bit of peace and quiet Hidden away on deck eight is the attic. Now here you can sit in some comfortable seats, choose a book from the lending library or one of the games and really just have a quiet, relaxing moment. Alternatively, if you want a little bit more excitement, opposite the attic on deck eight is the gamer zone. And in here, there are lots of Xboxes, So these are probably more gauged at teenagers and younger people but you can come and have a go on these. You just need to pick up a controller from reception. We've arrived on deck seven, so let's go and explore. At the front of deck seven is the theatre, so let's go inside. Behind me is the Broadway Show Lounge. It's a really comfortable 1,000 seater theatre. There's even little tables for your drinks. And on the way into the theatre, they provide lots of drinks on tables if you haven't already got them at a bar. Now the show team put on really good shows every night. They're usually a mix of singing and dancing, but last night we had a special treat from a guest comedian that had been flown in called Scotty Miller, and it was really funny. And so look out for the guest appearances because they're great. When the ship's not in port, the Broad Street shops are open. And because today's a sea day, all the shops are available for you to peruse at. So let's go and have a look at what's available in all of these shops. So if you're looking for something to buy for yourself, a treat for you, or something for somebody back home, then this could be just the place to visit. Morning. So over on the right hand side, there are some drinks, um, spirits. Over there, we've got some chocolates. And on the right hand side, we've got the first of our several watch shops and jewelry shops there's also some jewelry in these shops we've got more watches here in this shop then through into here we've got some handbags and more jewelry now this is quite good if you're looking for that kind of thing and then we come into more of a souvenir shop just here the heat you can buy things like mugs fridge magnets anything small to take home as a memorabilia of your cruise and then finally here on the right hand side we've got a fragrance shop so if you want to treat yourself to a fragrance then this is where you can come for that lots on offer and there are sales on as well throughout the cruise now if you're into your fine dining there are several specialty restaurants on board the ship now do be aware that these are not part of the all-inclusive package you do have to pay a supplement for them but i was talking to one of the other guests the other night who've been in this restaurant which is called surf and turf and they said that the food is amazing now surf and turf specialize in steaks and fish another speciality restaurant is coralore and here they specialize in asian food 
And the final speciality restaurant that you'll find on Deck 7 is Umi Sushi. So as the name suggests, here you can get lots of sushi. Now do be aware that these restaurants do fill up quite quickly, so it's advisable to book in advance if you want to secure your place. At the back of Deck 7 is the Squid and Anchor. Now this is set up like a British pub, so you'll feel right at home here. And there's lots of activities that take place during the day to keep you entertained. So you can take part in some bingo. There are also lots of game shows and the performers that perform all over the ship perform in here regularly. And this is one of the many groups that you'll catch around the ship. And then there's an extensive bar that has lots of choices of drink. The bar is on a slightly elevated platform, so it overlooks the rest of the venue, but there's lots of comfortable seats so you can sit and watch the entertainment, but do be aware that the seats do go very quickly on busy nights. So if there's something that you do particularly want to watch, make sure you're there early. Okay then, so you're Daryl and you're the adopted dad for this evening, is that right? You are indeed. Our survey says, it is, you stole those 100 points. Last night I was here in the Squid and Anchor and I won the famed, much sought after Morella flip flops. They're a bit of a joke prize, but equally they're much sought after. Over in the corner of the Squid and Anchor is a gin and whiskey bar. And while you're on board Morella Cruises, you can upgrade to a premium drinks package. Now this gives you access to better quality wines and spirits, also coffee in the coffee port as well. And so it's well worth doing. We find that we really get our benefit from this during the week because we appreciate better quality drinks. We've arrived down at deck six and there's lots to see here. This is the fourth Morelish cruise ship that I've been on and the first one that's had a dedicated theatre. Now in here they show a lot of very modern films. I've been quite surprised at how recent most of them are and they still also show films up on the pool deck on the big screen as well. Behind me is the coffee port. Now here you can get a selection of coffees. They aren't included on the all-inclusive package. You do have to pay a premium for them, but I've just ordered myself a latte, so I'm going to enjoy myself while I'm filming this morning. Also at the coffee port are a selection of chocolates just here and some speciality cakes as well. Now you do have to pay extra for these even if you're on the premium all-inclusive. The coffee is included but these delicacies are not. Now once your coffee has arrived there's lots of comfortable seating all around this area where you can sit, have a chat, drink your coffee in peace and quiet or you could go outside onto the boat deck as well which is just as nice. You'll find a busy bar here, midships on deck six, called the lounge. Last night we saw the cruise director perform a cabaret here, but we've often seen lots of live bands here. At the moment, obviously though, it's seven o'clock on a sea day, so there's nobody about. Behind me is the promenade deck. Now above me are the lifeboats, but it's a great place to come if you fancy a little bit of peace and quiet away from the hubbub of the pool deck because often there are lots of people sunbathing up there and there's music and quizzes, which is great if you want that kind of thing. But if you're just interested in some peaceful time to read or just relax in the sun, this is a great place to come. Behind me are some chairs for outside the coffee port, but there are also sun lounges as well. And this morning, it's a great place to come and watch the sunrise. At the back of deck six is Latitude 53, and this is the main restaurant on board Explorer. There is full waiter service in this restaurant, and what's even better is it's included in the all-inclusive package so you don't have to pay a supplement. It's split into two sections. There's Vista, which is denoted by the red napkins, and that has an Italian-themed menu, and then the rest of the restaurant, both downstairs and upstairs, has a more continental menu. Now, it's very luxurious inside, 
side, you've got comfortable seating, there's the stairs here with the piano at the top, and it's all laid out to make the experience feel that little bit more special. One of the things that really stand out are the staff. They are so friendly and they are so keen to help and do whatever they can. Here's some of the food we had in the restaurant. There's a prawn cocktail, cream of broccoli soup, a chicken and leek pie, a roast leg of lamb, a chicken Kiev, and then a strip loin of beef. Then finished it off with a cheesecake. Now one thing to bear in mind is a lot of this food you can find in the marketplace, but just bear in mind it won't be waiter served, it won't have the same level of presentation, and it won't have that same sense of occasion. Now we're down on deck five and this is where you'll find reception so if you need any advice or have got any problems during the week this is the place to come you will also find this pink duck as well don't know what sense you'll get from that but over here to the side of reception this is where you'll find destination services and destination services gives you lots of advice about the ports that you're going to visit during the week so you can book excursions or just find out details about where you're going to visit just behind reception is the atrium that goes up through the ship and the feature is this big screen here behind me. Now here on deck five, if you want to really treat yourself, you can visit the dining club. This is one of the most exclusive dining experiences on board Explorer. You do pay a premium for it, and we find that we get enough value out of the normal all-inclusive food, but I do understand that it's very good quality. One thing that you really notice on a Morella cruise is just how friendly and helpful the staff are. They always seem to be smiling and are always keen to help whenever they can. And on the last night of the cruise, representatives from all departments came to the Broadway show lounge just to wish everyone a safe journey home. And it was a great opportunity for everyone on board to show their thanks. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that tour of the Morella Explorer cruise ship. This is our fourth cruise and we've really enjoyed it. It's lived up to all of our expectations and it's a great way to see lots of different locations. And as always, if this is your first time visiting my channel, then you can help to make the channel grow by sharing this video and also clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications. But all that's left now is to say, stay safe and I'll see you soon.